Now to a breaking news update. For the first time since Tuesday night's deadly shooting at Humboldt High School, officials at every level are sharing their concerns after outrage and a pledge to seek justice. A shooting at a concession stand outside the gym left a 21-year-old man dead and two other people wounded. As WRAG's Andrew Ellison reports, the 18-year-old suspect from Jackson, Tennessee, turned himself in last night. Make no mistake about it. Our office will fully prosecute this case to the full extent of the law. District Attorney General Frederick Agee clearly angered over Tuesday's deadly shooting at Humboldt High School, pledged to make sure suspect Jaden Hardiman stays in jail. Never walks as a free man again. We will not allow violent criminal acts to take place in our schools in Gibson County. The 18 year old from Jackson, Tennessee turned himself in Wednesday evening and has been charged with first degree murder in the death of 21 year old Justin Pankey of Humboldt. Pankey was a graduate of Humboldt High. Hardiman, who was identified by witnesses and school security camera video, is also charged with two counts of attempted first degree murder after two bystanders were also injured. One of them shot in the neck and is partially paralyzed. The one thing I want us to remember is that as adults, we have to know that schools are safe havens for children. Humboldt City School Superintendent Dr. Janice Epperson says other than signs posted forbidding weapons on school property, there were no weapon detection devices in use at Tuesday's game. It's a family event. It's a, cool, it's a, it's a school sanctioned event. Um, so we did not have any detectors or any way of knowing. Um, she says after Tuesday's posted. tragedy, which happened within a short distance of hundreds of innocent basketball fans, security procedures will be reviewed. Um, we also are going to heighten the security because we know we do have to have some way of uh, detecting if uh, weapons are coming in. Thursday, students, faculty, and staff returned to Humboldt High, where counselors were available. Andrew Ellison, WRG News, Channel 3. We're told a weapon was recovered, but police aren't saying what motivated that shooting. It is believed that Hardiman and Panky knew each other.